We've been calling out Steve Harvey for years for being fraudulent. And then he gets this high top fade, making all black men think he got the best lineup in the business. And it's a man unit. We talked is. about that wig a long time ago. How are you giving relationship advice when you're not even comfortable enough to be who you are as a person? That you are a fraud. You're literally walking out with a hair a hair hat so because do you know the story why where this all started do you, are you i from, don't he said he was in the mall with two of his sons they saw steve harvey at the mall they went to get a um an autograph, autograph or a autograph. handshake or something and picture or something yeah. he was like we ain't doing that such and such and such his son said my daddy is cat williams right and naturally you know steve said who the hell is cat williams and and they're the beginning of the <laughs> <laughs> i didn't want to be a movie star no you couldn't be a movie star there are thirty thousand new scripts in hollywood every year not one of them asked for a country bumpkin black dude that can't talk good oh okay and look like Mr. Potato Head. There ain't none. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. GYBB gets your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The Sexual Revolution is being podcasted. And I am excited. What's up, Harry? What's going on, baby? You ready to rock and roll? Oh, Dante, born ready. You know me. I'm just trying to live a, a great life and also trying to get that special on Tubi. That's really what I'm working on. Because <laughs> I hear that's where it's at. That's the, that's the bare minimum requirement. The bare minimum. Cat Williams have said that is the bare to get it on Tubi. Nobody's having a better 2024 than Cat Williams. Cat Williams. Is Calling good. people out. But, and I and I got I to gotta say this. Uh, like you said, we were talking about this off air. A lot of people calling him crazy. Nobody calling him a liar. Let's just Nobody put that out there. Nobody called him a liar. Nobody called him a liar. What was but your I favorite part of that three hours interview, by the way? And if you haven't, everyone's seen it. But it, the three hours. Mine is when uh, Shannon Sharp asks him some other question and somehow it leads to talking about how Steve Harvey has a toupee. <laughs> You know what I mean? Where, where he goes A, B to C just to make sure he points out that Steve Harvey has a toupee. Now, you want to, here's the thing. We've been doing this <laughs> podcast for 10 years. How many times have you heard me say? Absolutely. Yeah, you many times. Giving relationship advice is wearing a toupee. He's not even comfortable enough in his own skin. Like he, he's a, he creates this facade of something that he's not because he's not happy with himself. I've said this a thousand times. Somebody who's five foot four, who lies and says he's five foot six, basically is 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 giving a tell to the fact that he doesn't think five foot four is, is enough. And like I said, don't get me wrong. There are girls who will not date a guy who's five foot four, but it, that's not an absolute. We've been calling out Steve Harvey for years for being fraudulent with Talk his- about that wig. A long time ago, bro. We, I talked. I said, I said this a long time ago. How are you giving people relationship advice when you're not even comfortable enough to be who you are as a person? It's okay. fraudulent. And again, I think he would have let that all go, but he didn't stop. So let's take a look at some of this Cat Williams stuff because it makes me feel so good. The same Steve that went to go watch Mark Curry do his whole sitcom and then stole everything Mark Curry had. Now Steve got a sitcom where he the principal and he wear a suit and he <laughs> and then he gets this high top fade making all black men think he got the best lineup in the business and it's a man unit. Then you asked it, why you not a movie star? I didn't want to be a movie star. No, you couldn't be a movie star. There are 30,000 new scripts in Hollywood every year. Not one of them asked for a country bumpkin black dude that can't talk good over KB and look like Mr. Potato Head. There ain't none. That is like, stop the fight. Stop the fight. God. Stop, throw the towel in, please. You He's already dead. Unit. It was supposed to be an exhibition. It was supposed to. I mean, just the viciousness. You could tell that. I mean, there's a lot. That was a lot. That's years of anger. Oh yeah, yeah. Right there. Well, because do you know the story? Why? Where this all started? Do you? Are you I don't. Me? Please tell me. Maybe I haven't heard this. Was, Cat, Cat was supposedly the story. I heard. I heard this uh, from a Donald DC Curry. Donald DC Curry was the guy who played. Uh, One. He was on Craig, Friday playing played, like a preacher yeah, played, or something. He played Craig's uncle. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. hit the lotto, right? 
And uh, he said, basically said, uh, he's friends with Kat. He said he was in the mall with two of his sons. They saw Steve Harvey at the mall. Um, and says, yo, that's Steve Harvey. They went to get a, um, an autograph, autograph or a handshake or something, and picture or something. Yeah. He was like, we ain't doing that, such and such and such. And then uh, his son said, my daddy is Cat Williams, right? And naturally, you know, Steve said, who the hell is Cat Williams? And and there, the end of the beginning of the <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell is Cat Williams? Williams, yeah. Williams, oh, okay. Williams, Williams, Williams. And he said, "Son's gay." He was like, "Don't worry about it. Don't worry about." It. And then, uh, right after that, um, I know, did not know this Kat, story here. Cat wow. started blowing up, and that's when Cat. I think it was a New Year's show where Cat ripped Steve Harvey. Like they were on the same show. It was like a New Year's show, and Cat basically said, turned it into a. You ain't the king of comedy. I'm the tonight that we gonna find out who the king of comedy. And he talked about Steve. Like Steve tried to take the high road, but he really had no low road to. Like he didn't have to smoke with Cat. And Cat talked about his man unit and his wig, and he he ain't funny. He ain't never. He just spent the whole show roasting Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey went on and did his set, and then Kat oh, they're on the same show. This is yes, the same show. A huge show. I mean, if you. You go, when you get a chance, we'll Google that and, and you can see him, uh, Steve Harvey and, and Cat Williams on the show. And he ripped him and told him, threatened him, said, look, let, you know, we're going to see who the king of comedy is from this point on. And, and that was when Cat started, really started blowing up. And uh, but it was it was basically him trashing his son, you know, not, like basically disrespecting him, uh, you know, in front of his sons. Which is uh, which conversely is funny because that's the same reason why uh, George Lopez shits on Punch from uh, Oh Eric Estrada. I love that story. George, well, now I've heard plenty that what you call it is a client. That George is, Lopez is a, is a bit of an asshole. Yeah, yeah it, it like, saddens me he, to hear that. He he uh he trashed uh, Barbosa, that new kid, the new Spanish kid that blew up with the family that was in the cartel. That that did speak out a Netflix special, but that's a whole nother thing. But let's yeah, go. So but uh yeah, but uh that's fucking hilarious. I didn't know that story. But that is first yeah. of all, also it's also uh you know, a wig is disrespect that would have been enough damage to say that it was a wig, but the term you man, call it unit. A man unit. Man unit. Man unit. Is- unit. How you gonna when you have a man <laughs> unit? The one that made you wig away a man unit. So I was like, oh Well, it will catch up with you. You know, you you talked about that oh, yeah. where where you have said that, hey, it there's there is no karma, but you do believe in probability, which yeah. I, I love that. Because it's if you keep acting like a dirtbag, eventually you're gonna you're not gonna get away with it. If you keep robbing banks, if you keep stealing, eventually you're gonna get caught. Right. Not because there's karma, but because the odds of probability are something's gonna get you. So why do it? You know what's interesting even about that? A lot of the pickup art artist guys who have who have you know just con guys out of so much money con, you know, guys who are pathetic or just, you know, don't have no, have no way of approaching social dynamics and stuff. There's so many of these guys who are, who are making millions of dollars because guys are so desperate uh, to, 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 to just learn how to do this thing, uh, just how to get women, just how to, and, and so, and then um uh shout out to Marley, Marley the wing girl. Um we had a conversation. She's one of the chicks on the internet. She does a couple of courses and but she's a you know, she's a woman, so so her perspective is definitely different. She says she goes to these conferences and she says these guys are a bunch of weirdos. None of them can talk, they can't speak, they can't, they can't talk to you, can't look you in the eye while they're speaking to you, and it's just weird. And they they know that they but this is an opportunity. They got a product. They know that the that the crowd there are guys who are motivated to spend money. And they're like, man, I'm not gonna. They're not going. I'm gonna do the work and 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 create a product that really could help somebody. They're like, look, I'm gonna get this money as long as I can for as long as I can and as fast as I can. And um, you know, those. What's happening with a lot of those guys? A lot of those guys got caught up in 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 uh, in date rape situations because the techniques that they were using 
was so inauthentic and they were tricking girls and, 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 con you know, and then, and then when the me too thing hit, a lot of them were in a, in a situation where, um, y women had recourse. So when you go into these situations where you're, you are, um, you're dishonest, right? Um, a woman can say he, he took it. He took it. Mm -hmm. He, I did not consent. He, this, that, and the other, they could, I mean, they could do that for spite. So what you definitely didn't want to do is be in a situation where it's questionable whether you got consent. Yeah. Well, you know, it, it's interesting, you know, and, and a lot of these guys, you're teaching them tricks and not techniques and not or lifestyle changes. Problem. Yeah. Personal yeah. growth. It's a lot of tricks and a trick is, you know, a trick is an illusion. When you talk about magic tricks, a magician will always tell you they don't do magic. What they do Ain't is real. They, they create illusions. An illusion right. is a facade. It's not real. The, an actual magician, you know, does not pretend that they have magical powers or ability, especially Penn and Teller. They go, what we do is create illusions. And what ends right. up happening is you're creating the illusion that you know what you're doing, the illusion that you're a suave man. And the problem is that it's a facade. And then you're yeah. right. Then it, then that leads to women becoming uncomfortable. And that's why it's that's why I relate so much to this Cat Williams thing is because we have been doing the same thing with relationship advice. And we take a lot of shit for it. If you love what we're doing here, go to Patreon.com. It's the best way to support us and check out all the bonus content. That's right. Patreon.com slash Manschool202. We do weekly bonus episodes. We do listener mail, dating tips. And also, if you love the show, you can go back to the archives starting from episode one. All the episodes will be there at Patreon.com slash Manschool202. Uh, Steve told you that he stopped doing stand-up because he has seven TV shows. The only problem is when he stopped stand-up, he didn't have those seven TV shows. He stopped stand-up because he got in a comedy battle called the championship of stand-up comedy with one cat williams in detroit in front of ten thousand people and lost because cat williams said he was actually bald and that was a wig and i went in and that's why he couldn't do stand-up anymore imagine him coming to tell you another story where he got so big and it was bernie and them's fault because they wanted to be movie stars wow okay wow well, um, that murder. is murder. Just imagine being called onto the stage and someone goes, you got a wig. <laughs> like, what is this there to say? And you've, been, and you've been hiding. You've been hiding this for years. Your, your high tough fade is, is, is legendary. Your lineup is legendary. Come to find out you looking like Smeagol. Your hair looks. <laughs> oh Jesus! But I mean, how do you have the arrogance? I don't know. But that's what that's what arrogance is. You believe your own hype when you don't leave. You don't live with genu uh, with being a genuine person. That's no, what happens. You start no, to believe the hype, and then someone calls you out for wearing a man unit. Yeah, and you got to sit there. Leave those man units alone. And yeah. I'm gonna tell you, it just when he shaved his head, I, like I like. So we all, you know, I know plenty of men. I personally, when I started going ball. You go, you, you, you're, you're you know, like, I used to go get a haircut and my haircut cost me $45 because I was like, well, I needed a two oh, yeah. on the side and a one in the middle and a, you try to blend it all together to try to hold on to it. And, and the, the greatest thing that I ever did was, was shave my head because when I shaved my head, I was living in my truth. This is who I am. I'm free. I, yeah. I, my, my value is not my hair. There's so much more, but that's, the reality of somebody who thinks like that, uh, you are your value is what other people think and how other people perceive you, which is exactly what I'm saying. What we're saying to the listeners every day, you can be who you are and, and that could be OK. It's not going to be OK for everybody, but it is going to be OK for somebody. And when you own, but if you're if you're inadequate, if you feel inadequate, and you're in a situation where you don't like who you are, you're gonna present yourself in a way where you're already saying you're not worthy of their time. You know, like this is the thing about your authenticity and you being the best version of yourself. When you are at, like that, you can step up and you, and you don't mind taking the heat and you don't mind standing up and telling the truth because uh, because you 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 there's nothing to hide. You know, and that's that's how I want the fans and the people who listen to the show. Just don't be a dude who who 
who you have to hide. Um, I've said this at least a hundred times. If you are 90% trustworthy, that's the definition of being a liar. Yeah. Oh. Be a Cat Williams. Don't be a guy wearing a man unit. That's the, I think that's the lesson. <laughs> that's going to be the today. t-shirt. When we get yeah. the merch up, that's going to be the t-shirt. Don't, Don't wear, wear a man a, unit. Yeah, because wearing a man unit is more than that is hair. It's, it's, a, it's a personification. It's, that's, yeah. I don't know why it's worse, because it really is the same thing. But it's somehow not. a word. What is the difference between a man unit and a wig? It's, what something, would you say? That, it's uh, something that it's something that you wouldn't that it's not acceptable for a dude. And anybody that wears a toupee is is the laughing stop. I mean, we laugh at dudes with toupee because it's almost like you're being deceptive. And we all we see you, motherfucker. We see you that this is not who you are. So we we it doesn't match up, doesn't fit. And so a man unit. It's just it. Yeah, I mean, it's, there's always a double standard about how how you can shit on a man and he, you know, <laughs> and it's fine. So man unit is, uh, we got to get a t-shirt that says, uh, "Be be honest, don't wear a man unit." <laughs> don't wear a man unit. Oh my god. Well, thank uh, you everybody for joining us. If you want more of this stuff, please go over to patreoncom slash manschool 202 We got a lot of relationship advice, dating advice. I think we did a segment recently about time traveling the technique of how to make a girl yeah. comfortable and do better and in, in, on first dates by time traveling uh what else did we talk about uh patience contact like and, and intimacy. Oh, physical contact and intimacy so yeah. a lot of that stuff patreon.com slash man school 202 plus if you love the show and you want to start from episode one we're uploading those on patreon.com uh several a week at this point so you can start also, from the archives also keep in mind every tuesday Every Tuesday, I'm streaming live, doing live consultations on the air. You don't have to, you don't have to pay. You just call up and whatever you want to ask me, I'll do a live consultation right on the air every Tuesday at 8:30 uh, on YouTube, Man School 202. Like, follow, share, all that good shit. Um, every Tuesday, 8:30, we're rocking. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.